Hello, you're watching Avenue X, and today let's talk about a recently started airing Chinese contemporary drama, 做自己的光 Be your own light. This is a 40-episode drama that's being aired on Jiangsu Satellite Television as well as Youku as the web platform. It is directed by Yu Ding, written by Su Xiaoyuan, led by Liu Tao, Qin Hailu, Chai Biyun, Liu Yuning. It was shot in the city Chengdu from June last year to November. At the point of making this video, I have watched 13 episodes of this drama. Although this drama is being aired at a really, really weird and fast pacing, by the time that this video goes out, it would have aired into its. 20s episodes. Since I cannot time travel, I'm not going to be responsible for the later things that happen in the drama by the time this video goes out. If it goes up or it goes down, if it explodes in a positive way or crash epically, if it happens, it happens. So far, though, after watching episode 13, I'll give this drama a really positive rating. Not yet at two gold mine, but I could give it like a 1.7 or 8. And I would say this is a drama that before I went in, I thought it's going to be crappy. And as it turns out. Totally not that type of drama. It's actually quite a lot of fun watching this drama, and I'm pleasantly surprised. This is a contemporary setting drama, mainly focused on three female lead characters. They are friends and colleagues at a broadcasting station, news station, television station, however you name that. That is under a lot of challenges in contemporary time, as you can imagine, since we have internet and a lot of traditional form of media is being heavily challenged. The definitive lead character will be Liu Tao's role. She has the most Amount of screen time, and she's our perspective character. She seems to have the perfect life. She's a very successful, long-running television show anchor. She's got a good marriage with a really rich and business savvy husband. They live in this big house that's expensive. She's got a son. It seems everything is perfect. Then one day, everything changed. The husband walked out on them, not leaving any information, not leaving any note, just vanishes. A group of people came to her door. And she realized her husband actually has been owing a huge debt to many people without her knowing about that at all. Now the guy's gone, nowhere to be found, and she has to take care of the debt and running into all kinds of difficulties when she tries to divorce the disappearing husband. Then her career runs into a huge challenge that her long-running show gets canceled. One of the people that her husband owes debt to is Liu Yuning's role, who owns a restaurant, who's an entrepreneur. Because of her husband's doing, he couldn't pay his debt and lost his apartment, lost his. Business. After a couple of episodes of rather dramatic and funny things, he ended up living in the ground floor of our female lead's big house. Then the two other ladies, Qin Hailu and Chai Biyun, plays work in different capacities and positions. They each also have their own personal struggles and their career struggles, and it makes up this seemingly really high blood pressure causing drama, but actually is quite a lot of fun and not heavy. To watch at all. Let me now tell you what is worth watching about this drama first. Number one, this is a very normal standard contemporary drama. I'd say overall is. Better than a lot of other things you get on Youku because this goes on satellite and it does have that satellite television series vibe, which is stay in the middle way. Nothing jumps out as too good or too bad. Normal drama that is really suitable for the eight o'clock slot on television. Stations. The second point that I highly, highly appreciate about this drama is everyone in this drama is such a normal, reasonable, contemporary person who definitely has lived in our world for decades. So they know how to talk, how to act. What is the proper reaction over everything that shows up in their life? You know, Chinese drama land has so many lifted from reality, overemphasizing on not making sense romantic relationships, using stupid camera movement to accentuate the atmosphere that just looks retard on screen. Oh, thank heavens, this drama doesn't have. Any of that. This drama setup of the female and male lead Liu Tao and Liu Yuning is another Nian Xia story, older lady, younger man. But it is very different from a lot of other solely focused on this type of relationship dramas you've seen. This part is just a section of the whole story, and the drama actually does a really good job of making everything make sense. For example, female lead when she gets her show canceled, she needs to fight her way back to heydays of her. Career, and she will go through all the stages where denial happens, where she has very strong anger towards 
her friend that she thinks she should back her but actually gave her more difficulties but then she rises up meets the challenges and remembers at the beginning of her career her passion and knowing that when she falls down she can stand up rebuild her career then her relationship with her son and how that's also step by step getting affected by the fact that the husband goes away in their life for no reason and then get better with the injection of Liu Yunning's role where their relationship at the beginning also makes perfect sense you owe me money, you need to pay me back and you are rich, nasty people who don't want to pay your debt and then she from her angle is like you are unreasonable, rude and threatening my safety and peace of life trap and then they gradually with all the conflicts that happens in their relationship starts to see each other's good in their personality while conflict of money they have still hasn't gotten resolved so everything they do makes perfect sense as a normal person in that situation while they recognize each other are more complicated and three-dimensional than they first realized then definitely they're gonna go towards the direction where things are gonna get more complicated but it's all been done step by step with so much reason and a lot of funny writing and comedy that this whole drama is just fun and relaxed actually although you probably wouldn't think it should be that knowing all the setup of characters for the other two ladies Qin Hailu and Chai Bibin plays their own career difficulties and obstacles and how they cleverly using their skills and experience to overcome them is also detailedly explained and makes perfect sense if you only look at it as a professional TV station drama it could also work so I totally didn't expect that this would be this type of drama because honestly in recent years we've had quite a lot of dramas that are like we have a group of ladies as the main characters and supposedly it's focused on their individual personality their career development the strong and independent woman of the contemporary time but we've also been disappointed over and over when those dramas don't deliver what they promise and they're completely unrealistic to depicting the professional jobs people do and it ended up still being only about romantic relationships and everything just looks so stupidly written because of that during my weekly video when I first mentioned this project I said I have no hope for it to be good at all well I am so happy that now I can do that to myself it's actually a really watchable drama so fun and so light and I will tell you when I was watching the drama because this drama gets aired at very weird schedules some days it airs only one episode some days it airs three episodes I would click open and suddenly realize shit I have three more episodes to run through today and then once I start watching I forgot I was watching three episodes and by the end though those three episodes finish I'm like oh did it already finished okay I totally didn't feel time running by as three episodes I thought it was only one episode the final point on the positive end is it has a lot of comedy it's not so highly exaggerated and stylized that you feel it's a little bit oversell it also is not so undercutting it it's kind of like doing it at a really comfortable level of slightly more dramatic than life but barely but still make a lot of sense and fun to watch and then if you happen to be a Liu Yuning fan in any way this drama will definitely fulfill everything you want to see on this actor in a contemporary drama first being that he's gonna be dressed in ways that's gonna expose his super long unhumanly skinny straight legs the second is his character is a restaurant owner and a chef you're gonna see him cooking for real because he's a chef in real life too then there's a lot of interaction between Liu Yuning's character and Liu Tao's son the kids character <laughs> that are so adorable and it's the male version of Xiao Ma Wenxuan <laughs> little mother literature that word on China's internet means the type of story that's a between a guy and his non-biologically related mother who often is much younger than the father like the second wife of the father you know that type of provoke story mm -hmm. this is like the xiao ba wenxue and I haven't seen that type of weird dynamics between characters in other dramas so far having a lot of fun with it and honestly there hasn't been one significant problem I can see or disappointment that has happened while I was watching so what is not so perfect about this drama well I kind of already said it which is it's not super high standard it's a very normal eight o'clock slot satellite television story definitely not bad but nothing epically good and unique 
outstanding either. Also, it is 40 episodes long. And as you're watching this video, probably it's already aired into mid 20s. But even that, we still have like 15 to go. So we are gonna need a lot of good plot. And if it can keep to the first 13 episodes writing standard, well, that wouldn't be a problem. But you never know, it's Chinese dramas, you know, often you see a decline of story quality towards the later part. The other thing is, for the later parts of this drama to work well, we probably are gonna still require a really good working chemistry between the Liu and the Liu, the Nianxia, the Jie Gou CP to work. So far, it's good. It's not yet at a point where it's gonna tickle your heart and become a Bambi jumping your stomach. It's not yet at that point. And because they are not fully, let's say, trusting each other yet as characters, they're still having conflicts and quarrels, although they start to get to know each other better due to the debt situation they're in. So we need to get that out of the way, the money, all that out of the way for them to finally being able to have a proper relationship. And obviously the husband needs to get kicked out. <laughs> Probably he's a guest star because he's played by Lu Fangsheng and good actor, but jerk so far, okay, in the story. I'd say the success of this drama and whether it can end on a higher note than what it is now would be heavily relied upon whether that romantic line is gonna work. Because so far, all the career line of those three ladies have worked really well. And I think they can maintain that writing quality. So I'm not actually worried about that. The only worry I have is like whether they can sell this unusual 结构. I mean, I have a good feeling about it, but until it shows up, you know, you never know. In a perfect world, I'd do reviews at the end of every drama when they've finished airing, but then that means I probably will have like huge gaps in my <laughs> video schedules of things because I'm waiting for them to finish airing that type of thing. So this is what I can do with my channel. I'd say right now it's already safe for you to jump into this drama if you haven't started yet and you're worried about whether it's a waste of your time. I don't think it is. It's a very entertaining drama. You're not gonna get once in a lifetime superior entertainment out of this, but you probably wouldn't be disappointed either. So that should conclude my first impression on the drama. Be your own light. If you need a sprinkle of happiness and comedy and fun, I think this is a pretty safe bet at this point. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.